ఎవరిబడి దిస్ ఈజ్ నాగేశ్వర రావు అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ ఫిజిక్స్ గవర్నమెంట్ డిగ్రీ కాలేజ్ చింతలపూడి ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రెజెంటేషన్ వి విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ మైకల్సన్ ఇంట్రోఫెరోమీటర్ ఇన్ విచ్ హౌ కెన్ వి డిటర్మైన్ వేవ్ లెంత్ ఆఫ్ లైట్ అండ్ ఆల్సో అప్లికేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ ది మైకల్సన్ ఇంట్రోఫెరోమీటర్ ఇన్ దిస్ మైకల్సన్ ఇంట్రోఫెరోమీటర్ ఇట్ కన్సిస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ టూ ఎక్సలెంట్ ఆప్టికల్లీ ప్లేన్ మిరర్స్ ఎం వన్ అండ్ ఎం టూ which is placed perpendicular to each other there is two glass plates g1 and g2 in which g1 is semi silverized towards the glass plate g2 and uh, s is a source of light it may be monochromatic light and l is a convex lens so this is the l is the convex lens which is used to render the uh, light ray into parallel beam where g1 is a glass plate is semi silverized towards the glass plate g2 this is m1 is the perfect plane mirror and m2 is one of the perfect plate mirror where m1 and m2 are perpendicular to each other so the angle between m1 and m2 can made by using the screws these screws we can change the angle between m1 and m2 so this is the traveling microscope eye piece that is t to observe the interference fringes so that we they due to the interference we can observe bright and dark rings or bright and dark fringes we can see so g2 is one more glass plate this is called compensating plate we will discuss later so in which uh, how can we work this experiment so there is a convex lens l s is a source of light this is g1 is the glass plate already I told you this is semi silverized towards the glass plate g2 this is mirror m1 mirror m2 are perpendicular to each other this is traveling microscope t if ray is coming from the source s is incident on the convex lens l then the rays which is coming from the parallel rays coming from the convex lens is incident on the semi silverized glass plate g1 due to the semi silverized it is partially reflected and partially transmitted so the partially transmitted ray passes towards the mirror m2 and partially reflected ray reflects at the glass plate g1 it is bottom of the glass plate g1 and reached towards the mirror m1 these two reflected rays that is along the m1 and along the m2 reflected back these two rays came from the same source and traveled different distances so these two rays act as a coherent rays these two rays interfere each other and produce dark and bright rings these rings can be seen by using the eyepiece of the microscope so this is glass plate g2 which is called compensating plate so in which the ray reflected ray 1 the reflected ray 1 is nothing but this is reflected ray 1 which travel through the glass plate g1 twice because the ray reflected at the bottom of the glass plate at this place it is reflected at this place so once it is moving inside of the glass plate one time and this is going about the second time so the reflected ray 1 which is travel through the glass plate g1 twice but the second reflected ray that is towards the mirror m2 travel not at least once so these two rays reflected as 1 and 2 are travel same distance but optically not equal because the ray 1 travel through the glass plate g1 twice but the ray 2 does not travel at least once so path difference is not equal so that we have to use another glass plate z2 having the same thickness of z1 and same material so it is called compensating plate now the ray 2 also travel through glass plate z2 twice 
सो टू रिफ्लेक्टेड रेज नाउ ऑप्टिकली इक्वल ट्रैवल डिफरेंट डिस्टेंसेस केम फ्रॉम द सेम सोर्स एंड आफ्टर इंटरफेरेंस दे प्रोड्यूस ब्राइट एंड डार्क रिंग्स सो दिस इज कॉल्ड कंपेंसेटिंग प्लेट जी टू If it is monochromatic light, this glass plate G two is not compulsory. If it is white light, the glass plate G two is compulsory to observe the interference fringes. So I have shown this is diagram. This is M one is the mirror M one. M two dash is the virtual image of the mirror M two. So we know the for ray one travel along the M one along a distance of x one. And the ray two travel along the mirror M two at a distance x two. If those two distances are not equal, there is an air gap between M one and M two. So the path difference between two reflected rays is two into x one minus x two, because we O M one is taken as x one and O M two is taken as x two. Then the path difference between two reflected rays, delta is equal to two into x one minus x two because one along this direction it is x one minus x two along the reverse after reflection one more x one minus x two so that the total path difference is two into x two minus x one when The mirror is very thick. That is uh, heavily, severely silverized. If the uh, glass plate G one is very thin, the additional path difference lambda by two is added according to the Stokes law. So path difference delta is equal to two into x two minus x one plus r minus lambda by two. If it is of course is equal to n lambda, that is a bright ring occurs. If it is equal to two n plus one into lambda by two, dark ring occurs. So what are the uses of this Michelson interferometer? By using Michelson interferometer, we can determine the wavelength of light used. Of course, it is in case of monochromatic light, that is a single color, we can determine the wavelength of light. If it is not monochromatic light, we can determine the difference between two wavelengths. That is, of course, the resolution of the spectral lines. Resolution of spectral lines is nothing but the distance between two spectral lines. That is, d lambda. We can determine by using the Michelson interferometer. By using this Michelson interferometer, we can determine the refractive index of the material of the thin film. And also, we can determine the thickness of the uh, thin film. We can determine, and of course, there is fourth one is there that is to measure the standard meter in terms of the wavelength of light. Now, how can we determine wavelength of light? That is the first monochromatic light. We know there is a bright and dark rings we can observe in Michelson interferometer. If the mirror M one Is it travel or moves by the distance of lambda by two? If the distance of lambda by two, the path difference is we know two into x one minus x two. That is two into lambda by two. That is lambda path difference occurs by moving the distance of mirror M one by lambda by two. So you know, in case of this path difference, two t plus lambda by two is equal to n lambda for the bright ring. If uh, already told you that if lambda by two is moved the moving the mirror M one, then the path difference is lambda. It is nothing but when bright one bright fringe is shift into the place of another bright fringe. For example, these are for example these are the bright fringes when we move this mirror M one. Of the distance of lambda by two, this bright fringe shifts towards the right uh, second right place. For example, when the distance uh, is moving from one place to another place uh, of the mirror M one, if there is n bright fringes moved from one place to another place, then n into lambda by two, that is the distance traveled by the Mirror M one is equal to 
x2 minus x1 or maybe x1 minus x2. So from this principle lambda is equal to 2 into x2 minus x1 by capital N where capital N is the number of bright fringes move shift from one place to another place when the mirror M1 moving at a distance of x1 minus x2 or x2 minus x1. So by using this principle we can determine the wavelength of light. So this is about the application of Michelson model interferometer. Thank you.